this video we are going to try and fit we have produced these bonnet decals um, for the Land Rover Discovery 3 and 4 you can see it there it's called an anti-reflective bonnet decal and it's inspired by these ones they made for the new Defender that have got 90 and 110 on them but what we've produced them with is we've produced them with D3 and D4 so depending which one you order you can have Disco 3 or Disco 4 there and we're hope, hoping to just add a bit of style and a bit of panache to the old Discovery 3 and 4. Right, so we are going to try and stick this on, me and Gary, Gary and I should I say grammatically. Now it's a little bit tricky, it's a big bit of sticky stuff and obviously the trick is going to be A to get it lined up exactly. So if you look down here Gary, I don't know, you'll be able to see in the camera, can you see that little bonnet line there? The trick is going to be to get it parallel to that bonnet line and then if you move around to the back here Gary, you can see we've also got this, we've shaped it to come parallel to that rear end. So the trick is how to do this. Now there'll be people out there that know a lot more about sticking vinyl on cars than we do, but we're hopefully gonna have a go as amateurs and you should better work out whether you can do it yourself. Excuse me. Right, so these bits are gonna go on last, okay? So I'm gonna put those out of the way. Now, when Land Rover do give instructions how to do this, for their bonnet decal. And um, so I think they say you position it first, just have a look, you're happy with it. And then they're sort of saying, tape, tape the right hand side down so that it's right hand side as you're looking at the bonnet, tape it down and then peel back the left hand half and peel back the backing strip and cut it off and then start from the middle and squeeze it out. Cause obviously we don't want to get the air bubbles in. So by starting from the middle and then do the other side. So that I think is going to be our strategy and, they, and then you've got to use a squeegee. Right, so what else do we need? So you, to help it, we've checked with the manufacturers of this adhesive film, the guys I bought this off, and they said you, if you can use water on it, but they said put a little bit of Johnson's baby shampoo. So I've had to run down the shop and get some Johnson's baby shampoo and they said if you use fairy liquid it's it, it doesn't work well with the adhesive on this film, but this is so mild, and if you put it in one of these little atomizers, which I've done, we can spray that on and it'll help you as you try and get the air bubbles out, and the, it, the water will dry with the adhesive under the film. That's the plan, so hence the baby shampoo. Right then, Gary, so we need to make sure we're happy with the location of this, particularly in the middle, and then, now it's already starting to crease a little bit. One thing I'm wondering, is whether we've got it too big because the Defender one seems to be a bit shorter. But we're gonna, I, I like the look of the, the full size piece. So let's have a go. So I think that's gonna, so now at least we should better pick this up. We'll get, we'll get the backing film off and then we should better put it down. Now, we have pre-cleaned this bonnet as best we could because you obviously, if you've got polish on it, it's not gonna stick. So we've given this a good clean. Um, you could use an alcohol wipe. We'll put a couple of alcohol wipes with it when we kit it up so that you can give them a, and then obviously that evaporates off and takes off all the, so we've got that done. Right, so now we've got a, right, we need to grab a pair of scissors. So let me peel this back. We'll go and grab a pair of scissors and you can watch me cut that bit off. All right, let's have a go at this. This could all go badly wrong. I'll just rest that tape on there. I'll stop that looking good so far. scissors in the world eh? Yeah. Sure it matters if it tears. Let me try to tear it, it's created a few little 
Quality this thing. I'm skeptical about using a knife. Right, I'm gonna gloss over that. Right. Okay, right, let's have a little atomizer of some Johnson's baby shampoo. Uh, whoop. <laughs> Epic fail. I don't think the big blobs are gonna help. We need a misty spray of it. Yeah, I see it. There you go. Well, that'll do, won't it? Yeah. Right then. Now, right, Gary's gonna put his gloves on now and we'll let Gary do the whole smoothing it out thing. Right, here goes. I've, I've set a little poison chalice for Gary. I didn't want to look bad, so I've made Gary do it. I can, I can hold this corner up. You can keep it like pulled. Yeah, pulled. Up. Yeah. Bye. Starting up. That's looking good, Gary. I think we might have to just put it down more, Gary, and just squidge it out, because I think with the water on, we can, I reckon, just put it down taut, and I reckon just squidge it out. But yeah, you want to be going from the, from the middle outwards. Be interesting to see will that will that crease move? How much with the water does it does it move? Moving up there. Can we? If we need to, we can lift it up again. Yeah. yeah. So it's not. Yeah, we're not worried about that because there's no there's actually no adhesive right in the middle there. So it's not with that water. It's not like stuck once and for all, is it? No. But you got to try and push that to that. That's it. Now the reason we got gloves on, we did we had a we did one the other day when we test fitted one and it wasn't you can scratch the graphics as you're really pushing on it to get the bubbles out. Oh, we might speed some of this up. Right, so right, now I reckon if you take that masking tape off, Gary. And then we're going to have to flip it over the other way now, yeah? But obviously this one's a little trickier because it it's not what it's got this shape in it. Yeah. Which I think is easier to fit but more difficult to hold, if that makes sense. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah. Masking tape and gloves is a tricky combo, but well done. Okay, right. Yeah, so flip it back over this side. Actually, if you... Actually, you should be... Yeah, you've got a nice bit to get hold of then, haven't you? Yeah, you, you should be able to do that with your gloves on. Just going to get rid of a little bit of the... A little bit, that's it. Which side you side are you gonna go, Gary? I reckon just just flip it over as best you can, Gary. Go on, just and then we'll we can pull it back or do whatever as as we need. I can perhaps have that back corner for you. Oh, we didn't spray the water. We do all these epic fails. Right, hold on. Oh, we just managed to pull it back and put the water on it. We're getting too carried away here. That's looking pretty good now, Gary. Right. Yeah, that's looking good. Oh, 
Right, we've we found a squeegee tool. As I say, we are not professionals, but I've sort of intentionally done it like this. Now, so we've, let's have a look at that tool, Gary. Let's have a look at that plastic tool you got there. It's a sort of special sort of decal squeegee tool we got, isn't it? And that seems to be it seems to be shifting it pretty well, isn't it? You can hear the the bubbles like in the air coming out. You can hear it like. You can, can you see the water coming out as well? And you see it coming out the sides there. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess when you get to the top, you should, although it's hard to reach, you should try and push it to the back. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. That's quite satisfying to watch, actually. Right, so Gary's been working out with his squeegee and he's got it apps. He's got all the bubbles out of that. Um, it's just one of those things you just got to work it and work it to the edge. We did have to pull a couple of bits up, didn't we, Gary? But you, yeah. with that water underneath, it's quite forgiving that you can pull it up again and put it down again. So again, they're going to be people going, no, they've done it all wrong. They're not professionals. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, you're not wrong. We're not professionals. But we wanted to have a go if two, if two amateurs could have a go and do it. I'm really pleased with that. Right, let's have a go now. So we've got to get our D4. Grab that down. What do you reckon? What's the first idea? For getting that in the right place, Gary, because we've got to make sure we get it. And mm. I reckon we'll trim around the outline. I think Julian said when he trims the next ones, they will be a he will set the vinyl cutter to actually trim the, all the white paper off. Um, so let's have a look. Let's trim it, mark out, and I guess we'll just do the same half. We'll tape it across half, peel it back, cut through. All right, let's have a go. Right, so we've got the D4 in place. Don't forget the spray this time. Right, and so I'm just going to tape. Tape it along there. Really stop it moving. Now what's going to happen here, we're just trying to work this out again. When when, when we peel it back, I'm going to leave the middle D and just do that manually at the end. So I'm going to grab the scissors. Right, so hopefully I can peel that back. I'm going to use my tape again. I've got it like that. And then cut through it. Oh, what have we not got to forget, Gary? Get your spray. Right then. Right. I'll tell you what you try and do. Is if you pull it taut towards you, yeah. and I'll just try Squid and do it in a wanna. Yeah. Go on then. You might see a little yeah. stick on that edge. You have to put it. Well, that doesn't look too bad, does it? Now you're showing off, Gary, filming out. That, right. that looks all right. That looks all right. I think it's the bigger areas are the hardest ones. Yeah. And I think this half is easier because you've got this this cut out. A bit wet. Oh yeah, now this is going to be the trouble with the with the smaller bits, isn't it, Gary? I'd say you want to bring it up a little bit. Just bring it forward. At least you've got so plenty of movement there. Yeah. Aren't you? We're going to have to dry it off a bit and let that dry, possibly. But you, you see, it proves it's easy to... Well, we can just put it on and... I'm going to get, I guess, that bit in line with that one there. Right. I'll tell you. And then I reckon dry that all off a bit. It's actually not looking too bad, Gary. It's no. almost, I don't think there's a lot of squidging to do there, is there? No. Obviously, you haven't got far to, for the air to escape there. Right, we're going to finish that off. We'll get Ben to take some pictures, and we will get those for sale on the website, but it might be next week now. We'll try our best. I'll try and get it on the website over the weekend, but it might not be in stock, but you can do the whole email me thing.
Right, good luck with that.